Okay, quite a bit has happened since the last segment, and I hope to god that it's recording the audio. I'm using Audacity and WinAVI now. And anyway, yeah. As you can see, I did some grinding for shiny objects. Uh, yeah, I'll talk about that later, truthfully. That didn't really mean anything with you, but, uh, like, sorry about not recording videos in a while, but... Yeah, first, like I said, someone wanted to co-commentate, so I put put it off till Monday. Then he bailed on me, and I was waiting for him, so I put it off till Tuesday. And then on Tuesday, I got my iPad arrived, so then I put it off till Wednesday. And then Wednesday, I was just lazy, so I put it off until now. And now it's 1.30 on Tuesday morning, and I'm recording. But also what I did while I was gone, well, not really gone, but... I rewatched the last segment, and I noticed something I missed, and I think I know how to get that spatula, or at least I know how to get to the area where you get to it. Now, right now, like I said earlier, I may just, at this point, play until I beat the game. Uh, it's 1 a.m., 1.30, so I have, don't really have anything to do right now. Really, all I've been doing this morning is refreshing the Big Dip on a bus fan page for news to see if he gets suspended or not. If you don't know what's happening, um, a bunch of LPOs, that is popular LPOs, <laughs> ones with like, at the very least 7,000 subscribers, they're getting, there's this group called DEFTA, and they're um, doing false uh, DMCA, it's a, a digital monitor, yeah, DMCA claims against LPO's videos in an effort to get them suspended. They're claiming copyright on things like the games, and one example, Chugga Conroy, they claimed copyright on his voice, which, to be honest, is kind of funny. So yeah, they are actually succeeding. They're flagging videos, and people are getting suspended. Now you can count, file a counterclaim, but still, you get suspended, and people will be wondering, and you'll lose you lose viewers, and yeah, it's really stupid. They're trying to prove a point or something, and but and uh, wow, I'm failing as much as I normally do. Good to know, but I I have no idea what they're doing. So. Wh wh Ah, whatever. Anyway, this is what I missed. It's somewhere over here. There's a trampoline that I'm guessing... Yeah, right there. You can see it. I just barely saw that when I was rewatching the video. Although, to be honest, I don't know how I missed it. Yep. There's a golden spatula. Actually, I honestly don't know how long the Charm Bucket Lab will take, so... With any luck, the game will be completed this morning. Or whenever you're watching this. So, right. Now let us... Actually, it would have been easier to go down. Let's go back to Bikini Bottom and claim our spoils for all my effort. <laughs> I suppose now is how I, when I should tell you how exactly I got all of those shiny objects S while I roll around and with this sponge ball because that's an awesome power up. Anyway, a long, long, long time ago, not that long ago, back when I, you know, originally first played this game and I somehow sucked it up more than I do now. Ah, uh, yes, there are two Mr. Krabses, I think. Anyway, back then, I used to love using cheat codes. <laughs> I think you know where this is going. Anyway, whenever I got a new game, that's what I would do. I'd go to GameFAQs and look up cheat codes for it. Whenever I rented a game or bought a game. Oh, Mr. Krabs just moves. For some reason, I thought he cloned whenever you unlocked a new area. Right. But, yeah. So, this game, this is one game I couldn't find cheat codes for. I looked for game shark codes, there were none. 
I looked for just traditional codes, and they, I found some, but some of them just didn't make sense. Use the sponge ball to roll around Miss Puff as she comes out of her house. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway. And then I found some traditional codes. Pause the game, press all four shoulder buttons, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, square, circle. I tried those, they didn't work. So then, fast forward X number of years to right now. Yeah, I should have enough to get all of them. Right, so anyway. Fast forward to now. I need to grind to sh for shiny objects to get all these spatulas. Remember the first time I played this game, I did that in the first area of Bikini Bottom, switching between Patrick's house and Bikini Bottom to try and get a ton of golden spatulas. Here, I did it on Sand Mountain. So I went on Game Facts again, because I wanted to make sure there was no better place to grind than Sand Mountain. There isn't. And I stumbled upon the cheat section, and I said, eh, that's worth a laugh, let's try these cheats again. And I did. I entered it much faster than I did last time. And they worked, believe it or not. Uh, those cheats to have no pants mode, which just changes the texture of his pants. It's really boring. Uh, those cheats to give you instantly a thousand shiny objects, which I only used once to see if it works. As a cheat code to give you ten golden spatulas, which I refuse to use because that's... That's stupid. And there's a cheat that increases the value of shiny objects. It makes them, like, three times what they're normally worth. So I used that code. I still went through all the effort to destroy the tikis, then die, destroy the tikis, die, but it made it much easier. And I'm happy for it. You can forgive me, right? So now, let's just do this repeatedly. Totally. I hope I have enough. If not, I might actually have to go through EFFORT! <laughs> so, let's continue talking to him repeatedly. It's fascinating, I know, but... Oh, what can I talk about? Oh, I know! Earlier today, I was playing iChat with the people in Big Dip on a Bus's channel. Uh, the... The... Of word list we were using was a Pokemon themed one. So anyway, what happened was I really suck at I chat I chat in case you didn't know. I was losing. But anyway, this person was drawing in his word, or at least one of his words, was slowpoke. And so we draw what drew lo looked like a slowpoke. Most people in the room successfully guessed it. Am I going to have enough shiny objects to get all of them? Oh wait, I'm almost done. Does he have any more? Anyway. That's all of them, is it? Yep. So now let's go get that one that we can get from Patrick. But anyway, the wood... Right, he was drawing a slowpoke, and... It was quite obviously Slowpoke. Most people in the room guessed Slowpoke. Uh, including myself. So then, you know, after some people guessed, and it starts to count down, but the person can keep drawing so more people can guess. You know how iChat works, hopefully. I mean, I keep saying iChat. I don't know why. I mean, I sketch. I sketch. That's... I'm sure all of you were confused that entire time. I think I started out by saying I chat. If I say I chat, I mean I sketch. Unless I'm talking about how I chat stupidly changed my channel icon or name. Not important. I'm just going to roll around while I share this anecdote with you. No, I'm going to go back to Patrick. But anyway, the word. He drew a slowpoke, we all guessed slowpoke, and he kept drawing. Hooray. Okay, that was kind of funny. And then, obviously, some people hadn't guessed it because they're idiots, so the guy kept drawing and soon realized 
And this guy has no idea what a slowpoke was. For you, you see, he was drawing a slow king. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, a bunch of people were saying, "Hey, that's a slow king. That's a slow king." Because these were people I had already chose guessed that it was slowpoke. So no, knew that he was trying to draw a slowpoke and was pointing out the fact that he's an idiot. What is this? Oh, Sand Mountain. So then I, in another great leap of stupidity, for some reason thought that his slope king that he was drawing that he thought was a slowpoke was in fact a slow bro. So just as his round was about to end, I typed that's slow bro and I hit enter like the very second the exact second the next round started and 